I have been bombarded by the most bizarre and too good to be true beauty products on the internet. Starting with this moisturizer that I found on TikTok. It's from Timu and it is this sea grape. I guess it's supposed to moisturize. I don't even really know. I've never seen anything quite like this. The texture looks awful, but we got some of it to try out for ourselves. A portion of today's video is sponsored by Shopify. All right, I've got a clean face and my $5 Forbidden Boba Timu Moisturizer. <gasps> That's actually really pretty. Comes with a little golden spoon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how little they are. Okay, I gotta know if they squish like a boba. Oh, I mean, they don't explode, but they do squish. So supposedly this has like hyaluronic acid and a bunch of really good things for your skin in it. All right, just... Okay, it goes everywhere is the problem. <laughs> I'm trying to like pop the grapes. It makes such a mess. Then once they're squished, it has like a gel texture. I mean, it feels pretty nice. How does my skin look? Instantly just turns red. <laughs> okay, but I just really want to know what a sea grape tastes like. So I found these ones on Amazon. Oh, it comes in like a whole string. Okay, let's try it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. All I taste is salt. I don't think I'm a fan. I've got 10 more extreme beauty products that we're gonna try out. At least they claim to be extreme. And we are going to create a complete extreme look at the end. This next video has over 48 million views on TikTok and it's probably one of the weirdest advertisements I've ever seen. It looks like she's sitting out in the rain and she applies this liquid foundation very aggressively, I might add. <laughs> but it looks absolutely unreal. Like her skin looks airbrushed. Oh, we aggressively have to make sure it doesn't come off, okay? So I was about to order this foundation when I realized something very interesting. You might remember this video. I tried to get this powder foundation months ago for another video. It's kind of the same concept. It just goes on like a normal powder and supposedly it sets your makeup so well that no amount of rubbing or water or anything can take it off. Well, it turns out that liquid foundation and that powder foundation are from the exact same brand. It's this FV Fur Forever brand. So I ordered this powder months and months ago and it took so long to get to me. But then I realized this stuff has been on Amazon the entire time for like half the price. So today's the day we finally try it. Step one, liquid foundation. Okay, she was just like slamming a little puff pad into her face, but I'm gonna use a brush. As you can see, I have a tiny bit of redness in my skin. So I'm hoping this makes it all disappear. <laughs> so far so good. It feels very lightweight on my face and the coverage is looking good. Okay, now it's time for the real test. And a spray me in the face. A lot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, it came off a little bit. I wouldn't say it's as dramatic as the advertisement, but I'd give it like an eight out of 10. All right, our powder. I'm not gonna like draw whiskers on myself or whatever, but we are gonna see if this powder can even further set this foundation. Okay, the packaging's cute. Had our powder. To be fair, this powder is very light. So even when I do put the paper towel on my face, I don't know if it would show up anyway, even if it did come off. <laughs> and it hit me. <laughs> okay, I'll be a little gentler this time. <gasps> Nothing. Now I wonder if my foundation that I use every day also does that though. If it's silicone based, then water won't take it off no matter what the brand is. Next up is this makeup stain. She's putting it on her cheeks, on her eyes. And then when you peel it off, you have eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick. And it actually surprisingly looks really cute. I have a whole bunch of different colors too. So our eyes don't necessarily have to be the same color as our cheeks and lips. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with cherry red on my lips. And while I apply this stuff and take it off, I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Shopify. This one's so dark. Why is it burning? I feel like it's not supposed to burn. 
Speaking of lip gloss, I've actually purchased some lip glosses from some of you hopeful small businesses, but something I noticed is that a lot of you don't have a storefront to actually purchase from. Having a platform like Shopify is gonna be an absolute game changer for you. Okay, I'm thinking we do lovely peach for the cheeks. Shopify is so easy to use too, so you don't need any like tech experience or website building experience. Like I made my first Shopify store back in 2018. Shout out to any of you that remember this OG merch. And I did it all by myself with the help of Shopify's customization tools. That's so bright. <laughs> Okay, for my eyes, should we do watermelon eyes? Shopify powers millions of other businesses, both IRL and online, across over 175 countries. Shopify also integrates easily with all major social media platforms, which makes it really easy to sell from all of your social pages. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Trust the process, guys. So if you've always dreamed of having your own store, get your free trial today by scanning this QR code or going to shopify.com slash hopescope. Oh, and DM me the link to your store once you get it all set up so that I can check it out. All right, let's peel this off. Oh, oh my gosh. It works. I look like Kim Possible right now. No way. All right, moment of truth though, the cheeks. Um. Okay. Actually, once we blend, that's not bad. Eyes. Okay. I mean, it's definitely a color. <laughs> it's not terrible. It does kind of look like a rash. Oh, there we go with the clean peel. Yes. All right, I think I just need to blend it out a little bit and put some lip gloss on, and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, here's the final result. I feel like it's kind of marketed as like a time-saving technique, but by the time you wait for everything to dry, peel it off, clean it up, you could have done like a regular makeup look. All right, our next look is from Pinterest. It's this lipstick look. So they use this black liquid lip. It's very matte. And then once it's dry, they go over it with this iridescent shimmery chrome stuff, and it creates the coolest look. Look, infinite chrome flakes in Superstar. And this one has like purple and pinks and oranges. I think it's gonna be really cool. It was $26 for 0.1 ounces, so it better be cool. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna line it, then we're gonna do our liquid lip. That's so dark. <laughs> I mean, I did get rid of my pink hair. We are heading into a new era of hope. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go over it with our chrome. Whoa, it looks so cool. It's a lot more purple than I thought it would be. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a powder, but it's definitely like a creamy gel. Wow, I'm such a Pinterest girly right now. I actually kind of love it. This next TikTok, I got tagged in so many times by you guys and it is a very bizarre video. Okay, so it starts out with this person applying mascara on their arm hair and then it moves into this. I don't know how she got her eyebrows and eyelashes to do this, but she's claiming it's from this mascara. I am beautiful is supposedly the brand. <laughs> the concept of like tubing mascara that lengthens your eyelashes has been around for a really, really long time. So I found two different kinds of fiber or tubing mascara on Sephora. The first one is Wink Lash Trio and also one by Simi Hayes. All right, we're doing Kaja on this side, Semi Hayes on this side. Do you remember when like Jenna Marbles used to do the 100 layers of things? I feel like that's what we're gonna have to do, but with this. <laughs> I've never put mascara on my eyebrows. <laughs> How did she not get the eyebrow stuff all over her forehead is my question. Okay, so far so good. Now semi haze on this side. All right, first layer done, about 20 more to go. Well, it's definitely extreme, not in the way that we wanted it to be. There's just no way to keep the mascara on your eyebrows and not on your forehead, so. And then after about layer five of mascara, the lashes just started getting wider, not necessarily longer, so. All right, well, if that mascara thing didn't go as well as... Okay, I wasn't expecting it to go well, honestly. <laughs> I have a backup plan for our look with the eyelashes. And it's these ones that I found on Pinterest. They are absolutely, they look like they're from another world, honestly. <laughs> so I just found these on Amazon. They were actually pretty cheap. I will say the reviews for them are not awesome. I'm kind of excited to try them though. Well, if anything good came out of that mascara experience, it's that we created a good base for our pink ones. <laughs> okay, lash number one. Oh no, not my clump of black lashes underneath it. <laughs> hey, I don't know what people on Amazon are complaining about. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. Like more comfortable than a regular strip lash because they're feathers. Okay, lash number two. <laughs> 
Wow, this look is really coming together, but there's even more exciting things to come. This next one is a Pinterest beauty product that is so cool. And I really, really hope that it's real. These little like LED patches that you put on your face and they come in a whole bunch of different colors and patterns. It literally looks too good to be true because I don't know how it can possibly work, but I did find a bunch of them on Amazon and we're about to find out how it works on a few different kinds. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So it comes with both sides. Okay, so it looks like I just pull this tab out. Ah, all right, and then we turn it on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Let me show you the other ones I got though. Lightning bolts. Ooh, they're white. Those are so cool. <laughs> And the last one, it's little rainbows. Why does this one only come with one? I mean, I guess we can mix and match them. All right, let's turn it on. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Maybe that's why it only came with one because this one is definitely cooler than all of the other ones. Okay, I've decided I'm doing the rainbow on one side and a lightning bolt on the other. This says face jewelry glue, but I think it's just the same thing as lash glue, honestly. All right, lightning bolt on. Now time for this little guy. Wow. Okay, now we turn them on. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I mean, in the daytime, the cord doesn't look great, but lights out. <gasps> that is so cool. The rainbow's definitely the coolest. I wish there was a setting where it would just glow solid. All right, this TikTok is another one that I got tagged in so many times from you guys. It is this clip-on ponytail that creates this like instantly volumized, beautiful ponytail. And it has like some fun, colorful streaks in it. I can't find these clip-in ponytails anywhere that have these like streaks of color, but I did take it upon myself to find as many clip-on ponytails as I possibly could, especially from like different price ranges and see if any of them were any good. So for 10, dollars we have from the brand Foot. Ooh. And I think it's a pretty dang close match to my actual new hair color. I'm excited to try this one. The only thing is it's artificial hair, so you get one texture and one texture only with this one. All right, $10 hair clip. That one's actually pretty good. I mean, I think if my actual hair wasn't curled so much, and it's a really good length match. Is the $20 one gonna be any better? Young Ways brand. Okay. Ooh, this one feels really nice. Also a really close hair color match. Not quite a length match, but this one will be cute just for a little like half up look maybe. I mean, this hair does feel a little nicer. Maybe if my hair was straight, I would like this one. So far the $10 one is still the winner. All right, and our $65 version. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> they were like getting better and better and then this one showed up. But this one is supposedly real hair, I think. This one is also not even like Auburn. If you lined these up and I had to guess which one was the most expensive, I would never in a million years pick this one. Do we even need to try the $65 one? I'm so disappointed. Yes. It's not even close. Well, clearly more expensive doesn't always necessarily mean better. All right, our next extreme beauty Pinterest trend is actually really cool. So I came across these photos of these hair tattoos. And now I think that these are done by like an actual artist that possibly even hand painted them on. But it got me thinking, has anybody ever made like temporary tattoos for hair? And then I also came across this TikTok of somebody trying exactly that and it actually works pretty well. So unfortunately my hair is pretty dark now, but I might have a solution for that. But I found these really cool like watercolor temporary tattoos and I had the idea to use some of the wigs from my $1 versus $1,000 curly iron video. And we're gonna try these on those. Okay, here's my lovely assistant. I'm leaning towards these pink and purple roses, the lion or the snake. I don't know, those are all so cool. I feel like we're gonna need a couple tries though. So let's go lion and flowers. If this works, I'm gonna put this wig on afterwards in case any of you miss blonde and pink hope. <laughs> Stick it on. Oh, I think it's gonna work. It's coming off. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna work. No way. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. What? That's so cool. Okay, our little kit came with some smaller ones. So I could even add some little ones. I'm gonna finish the rest of the wig, be right back. <laughs> okay, there's side one, side two. Let's put this thing on. Wow. What do you 
what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. The only downside is you can't like brush out your hair or anything once it's in. Time to try the gold on my hair. There's so many different things we could do. We could do like the lines down my part. That would actually be really cool. And then maybe we do a bigger one on the side. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it worked. Ooh. Okay, now what do I do? I feel like I could do like little things coming down from the top. Okay, I think this is the final look. I think we just unlocked a really cool DIY. Do you see Lee? He matches me. <laughs> When I had pink hair, I got asked all the time by people, did you do it yourself? And I think that's because people are always searching for like really easy, cheap at home ways to get fun, vibrant hair color. And we may have just found that. So it's this cream that you put into your hair and it actually looks pretty good. I can't tell if it's just because of like her hair texture. Cause how does this not make just like a gooey mess? Or here she is trying a blue one. Look how good that looks. Okay, and then it looks like she does go over it with a hair dryer to kind of bake get into the hair so it's not gooey, but I still have a lot of questions. <laughs> For some reason, my most requested hair color to try is purple. I got us the purple one. This is just from Amazon and it's Mofi Jang, I think is the brand. Wow, it's so bright. It almost has like a metallic sheen to it. it smells like shampoo. All right, time to try out our purple cream. Ah! Okay, it's definitely turning purple. Oh, it's already starting to get crunchy. I think the only way for this to work is if you don't mind the crunch. The color deposit is really very impressive. Okay, so since I kind of thought it would give my hair this texture, I have a plan. Step one, slick my hair back. Step two, apply the purple to the top of my head. Step three, I got these hair extensions. They're like a purple to red ombre. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay, and now what we have to do is add some hair tattoos. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a flower on each side. No way, it worked. Can't believe that worked. Okay, hair tattoos on. Here is our final extreme beauty look. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out my other beauty product videos that I've done before if you haven't binge watched those, and we will see you in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.